I have a uh, letter from two of my mayors, and, and they're just wondering what is going to be the revenue going towards mental health to, to help this? Not a percentage, but on the projected revenue. How much money are we actually talking? Well, that's going to grow year on year. In the first year, I'm, I'm not great at math on the fly here, but... If you um, don't have the number, that's okay. I don't need you to do calculations. It is 20 percent. It's 20 percent. 20 percent of what? Uh, in the first year, it's 50... Fifty-seven, fifty-eight million. It's about eleven million dollars in the 11. first year, which only represents six months. It's it's really half a year of okay. revenue. Okay. Okay. To the bill. Um, I've heard today about the need to expunge criminal records, and for people to have second chances. I've heard about the need for jobs in communities, about need for revenue in certain communities, and entrepreneurial entrepreneurial opportunities in those communities. And those are all laudable goals, and I believe goals we can all support in this chamber. However, I do not believe that this bill is the way to achieve those goals. We should be working to achieve those goals on their own, and I'd be happy to work with anybody to do so. But it, it, it's not a reason to vote to legalize a drug that we know is going to cause some problems in our community. And even the sponsors of this bill know it's going to cause problems in our community, which is part of the reason why they have allotted money for mental health and other issues and are allowing local governments to tax on it because it's going to create problems for law enforcement and other officials. I understand it's been a long debate, but if I, I could have your attention for a minute, We've heard about health concerns, and these are set out. These aren't, these aren't fallacies. It's not just associations. There are actual concerns, and the CDC website contains that information. It further indicates repeatedly that part of the problem is there's not enough research in this issue, on this issue. So I do not understand what our need is to rush forward on an issue when the Center for Disease Control is telling us we need further research. Why aren't we instead supporting some type of legislation asking the federal government to conduct this research? There's further not the testing we need to know, testing available to us to tell whether someone's intoxicated. It's just not there yet. And by way of social media, people are going to find out that this isn't there yet, and they're going to know that they can go out and drive high, and there won't be repercussions for some time to come because of it. Representative DeLuca asked us not to pass this bill because it's not the way he wants his family raised. I know all of you have concerns for your family, too. I'm asking you on behalf of my family and all the families of the state of Illinois, don't pass a bill to get goals that we should be truly working on, such as bringing businesses and jobs to every part of Illinois, including and especially those underserved communities, just so we, we, we can make something that, that needs further work put it into to law and, 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 and create opportunities that we should be working on in different ways. I urge a no vote. Thank you.